Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Titi, right over back on the screens once again. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I have been keeping my hair moisturized while it's stretched. Cause you guys saw my previous video, I was, you know, blow drying my hair, I was looking raggedy, and today I decided, you know, to doll up a bit, wear my favorite color pink, of course, got a pink lip, lippy and this jersey i love this jersey and like the arms i'm ready for winter but i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i've been keeping my hair moisturized and stretched and um yeah so without any further ado let's get right into today's video So you guys saw my previous video that I had uh, blow dried my hair and it was quite stretched. Obviously, it's not the same size as it, it was it was then now because that was like two weeks ago. However, I've been wearing my hair out since then. So the first thing that I would like to mention is that I have not used oils in my hair for about two weeks. And the reason for that is because oils kind of weigh your hair down. And because I wanted to keep it stretched, I eliminated oil so what I would do is you guys look you guys know TD TD is going to find a way that works for her and you know I'm frugal I was not gonna be I was not gonna go out there and try to find a product that was going to for one keep my hair stretched without using water because we all know everyone who is in the natural hair community always tells you that if you're going to be moisturizing your hair you have to put water in your hair but if i've just blow dried my hair and you say i can't put water in it because it's going to shrink my hair then how the heck am i supposed to moisturize my hair <laughs> and that's the dilemma i was like you know stuck in and a few people on instagram were also in the same predicament so i decided to try to figure it out on my own trial and error okay we learn as we go so the first thing that i will always use is o to the motherlands product and i love the sequel this is the leave-in conditioner i love it and that's kind of almost what i've been using on my hair the reason for that is because um it has some really cool ingredients and i feel like my hair is not missing out as much and then i add some shea butter on it so this is what i've done you guys know um this brand right naturally africa there's not a naturally there isn't any product in here this is i kind of chuck away whatever was left of the, what was this the detangling spray and then i washed this and sterilized it and then i started using it as my spritzer because i actually like I like how it sprays. It's like very, you guys see that? It's like very misty. It creates a cool mist. So what I did was, it smells so nice. Oh. So what I did was, I put the little bit, no, not a little bit. I put a lot of this leave-in conditioner in this bottle and I put not a lot of water, okay? It wasn't a lot of water. The water was just there so that it can be able to um, work well with the spray and you know not get stuck if it's too thick obviously you it won't be able to spray it out so that's how i kind of measured my water so my you guys can hear it it's in here it's not too watery it's still a little bit thick because this leave-in conditioner is quite thick so what i do is i would just spritz my hair like so right but not a lot the the aim of this is to not damp your hair you don't want your hair damp you want your hair lightly missed like lightly misted because obviously you don't want it to revert back and then i apply the i, I apply my normal shea butter you guys know that i use whipped shea butter it, it's not whipped with any other ingredient except itself <laughs> and then i just apply that into my hair and put it up well it depends okay it depends if i'm going to the gym the following day which is something i'm gonna get into in just a second if i'm going to the gym the following day then i have to prep my hair the night before for now my hair is still fine and when i go to the gym tomorrow morning i won't need to have to stress about my hair because i'm gonna keep it like this and then tie it up again in the morning put it up in my satin bonnet uh, in my satin you know scarf or a pillowcase or a bonnet whatever works for you just wrap your hair at night and so far i've been loving keeping my hair in a bun uh, not in a bun like but like in a puff like this in a high puff and i've been wearing this style for almost like a week and a half now but i'm trying to you know diversify and find other styles that i might wear with my hair because i really truly want to challenge uh, myself this year to wear my hair out a lot more so that's how i moisturize 
get you a you can use a lotion a hair lotion okay so that would be my other solution try to use a hair lotion however this is some of the disadvantages of you know blowing drying your hair and trying to wear it out for long periods is that it might rain and when it rain the weather is going to affect your hair because your hair, the, the the particles in the air are going to be full of moisture and that moisture is going to go into your hair and your hair is going to start becoming like fuller it won't necessarily completely revert revert back to you know its shrunken state but it will lose a little bit of that stretched length if you get what I mean and your hair length will definitely decrease so that's the other thing is that you can't predict the weather um, so I think for me keeping it as stretched as it is right now um, is okay with me because I realized that from day one I will not be able to keep my hair as stretched as it was after I blow dried it I blow dry I blow dried it I blow dried it <laughs> so that is that okay so just remember that and I know a lot of people say there are a few people that have grown their hair by keeping it stretched so I'm trying to do the same thing and I put my hair up in twists if it's not like this I but in chunky twists because I always undo my hair daily all right uh, because I'm trying to challenge myself to wear my hair out more and that means I would have to also, you know, try to find a few hairstyles. Then the other thing is, you know, the working out. When you work out, your scalp becomes moist. So obviously your hair might shrink a little bit again when you are working out. Okay, and that's what I have become now. I've become a gym babe. I lift now. I wish I could show you my muscles, but I can't. Um, and I'm working towards a new booty. You know, I want a new booty and I want it to pop. So I have been at the gym. I weight lift. I did lift. You know, that's the kind of chick I am now. I take protein. <laughs> that is me. However, I do want to talk about the challenges of trying to keep a hair balance and your life. Because I can tell you this for free. My little sister took out her hair and put it up in braids over the weekend. And she literally cancelled um something we had planned because her hair was not working out and i feel like sometimes yeah sure you, you can be positive about natural hair but i don't want us to lie about ourselves because my little sister literally was affected by her hair and it was just like my hair's not working out so i'm not gonna go you get what i mean so it can sometimes make you feel that way that's why i believe in prepping but even though you know sometimes you'll be following those youtube tutorials and the hairstyle don't come out the same that wash and go don't come out how it's supposed to go and you have to go for a lunch Whew, I think you might just well just throw a wig on or a scarf and call it a day okay call it a day and okay not call it a day go see a friend you know go for your lunch but forget about your hair because it's not gonna work out you're not gonna be able to enjoy it so don't forget that sometimes that can happen to you all right and then as I was mentioning that when you go to the gym your hair will also shrink so the other things that automatically happens when you kind of start working out is that you eat healthier so that's what I've been trying to do is it difficult 100% those Krispy Kreme donuts <sighs> listen ma'am I only eat one flavor the glazed original um, donut that's the only one I like so sometimes I, I you know I would eat that but you try to keep a balance and I like the fact that I have I'm being active again so that's nice now it's a matter of finding the balance between you know your hair your workout schedule planning for your schedule because you know when you when you when you train like that you have to you have to learn about the body so educating yourself about what it is that you're doing to your body and then finding a balance of your pets if you have any i have a cat and a dog and i have a lot of plants and also having to remember to moisturize your hair in between of taking care of all of those things and then you have work and you have to take care of family and you have to show up for yourself it's a very hard balance to find and to maintain and then you also have to have a social life oh my gosh i'm not gonna lie i've been trying to socialize a bit more um that's working out for me so yay good good to me because this year i'm learning to i want to you know build relationships friendships you know so yeah because i don't really have a lot of people in my life so no we just want to you know make friends network kind of vibes you know you have people of value in your life people that you can call up and say hey i need to book out your restaurant because i'm launching a business or whatever you get what i mean and that's your friend those are the type of friends i'm trying to have and i'm also trying to pull back into myself you know educate myself and in all of that you must still you know schedule a wash day in all of that so i would say what has been helping me 
is planning so I would plan at night and I would prepare my hair at night for the following day so that it's easier for me just to you know hit the ground running when, when my alarm ring goes off um, so I plan each day hour by hour I learned this from Patricia Bright and she was like don't just plan you know you must plan from 7 o'clock to 7 30 what the heck are you doing with that time from 7 30 to 8 from 8 to 10 what are you doing with that time because once you start to see how you can account for your time you'll be able to notice that Ooh, I'm actually wasting a lot of time on my phone doing absolutely nothing but scrolling instead of creating content for people to watch you get what i mean so i now do that so i plan hour by hour by hour today i yeah today was a bit tough because i kind of ran behind schedule so i was chasing time but i still hit everything that's on my to-do list for the day super proud was a productive day and my hair still beautiful so <laughs> I have one for the day. So guys, thank you guys so much, so, so much for watching. I will definitely see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this weird kind of chit-chat kind of vibes. And I will see you then. Bye.